able to execute and find that maybe your kind of cold spots. Yeah, look, 208 hits since joining the tapper to the right side. Right there is his average. Third Major League Baseball, but second. And a base on the bat. It is an amazing, amazing top of the line. I was still coming out of the stands in center field. Will hits him. Here's Tony Gonsolin in his 21st appearance. You get a nice, sharp late break. In 2019. Your head's on a swivel, ready to throw to the base. Kansas City going the youngster route. Play. Also had to be a big leaguer. Pops it up. It'll JT has been on base in 20. You know, I do ask our producer to send me them ahead of time. Chris Taylor. Drive the ball. Payoff pitch. Ball four is out of the time. And there's a ground ball to short. And waiting. For so here is Vinny Pasquantino, first baseman, first ball swinging. As long as you're making quality strikes early in that. One, two. And a ground ball to Hanser. Which is a fewer. Here, his first year with the Royals. It's a ground ball down to short, one handed by Trey, watching him. And that's always a welcome sight. Yeah. So he had to do something. <laughs> he was hanging around. Yeah. The hitter might see they recognize the pattern. In the hole, backhanded by. He does it again. And there's a hit. So Trey. 325. And he does. Freeman. And he lifts this one. So you got to go. You got a key hold and say, okay, where's my spot I can do damage on? We've talked about this a number of times. And Popping out of his hand. Down, down, and it's below your back. Shortstop, Nicky Lopez lines it. <laughs> and Will lifts this one in the air to center field. To the left side is Bobby Whitney for Chris Taylor. Still scoreless here in Kansas City game. Payoff pitch. And that's a ball. Lynch has limited the long ball. Max Munson. And in the air. In the strike zone. Getting ahead of guys. Popped up. 2011. And he pops this one up to the left side. As well as Padre shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. Popped up oh. into the twilight. Pasquantino has room. Got him to chase. Well, a very good hitter with the bases loaded. And he swings and he hits a high drive to Prado out there. And he goes down on strike. The report on him was he could pretty much get anything in the outfield. And the 2 2. That's in the air to center. Max hits the ball to center field. And it's a ground ball to the right side. Freeman with a stab to Tony for the out. Pitch. Low, and there's the first base runner. Two on, two out. And in the air it goes. Come on, now the pitch. And this one's cracked in the left. That's a base hit. That's the second hit that Trace has had with nobody out. And that's. And Trey hits it through the hole inside a base hit. Luck scores. Here comes Thompson. He will score. For this one, and then Freddie goes to the left center field gap. Here comes Mookie in the score. Turner will be held at third and into second with a run. Stalmont, 147 and 66. And that one is off Weaver. Gets away. And Trey Turner will score standing up. 4 0 done. JT to right field. Freddie tagging. Ball is caught by Isbell. And here comes Freeman to the plate. It's a sacrifice fly. Five runs. Target set by Perez. Man. And there's a base hit. The no hitter is over. Belted to center. Thompson is back. It's over his head. And he will score. So the... He missed, and that's ball four. It was a big day for Nate Eaton. And a ground ball to third. Backhanded by Freeman. Max Muncy. And there's another walk, second one, 96. And two inside ball four. And this one's got to hit in a deep to center field. Back is Taylor. He looks up. It's gone. 
a home run. Trace Thompson. All of the hits he's had. had. The high bouncer to third, played by Witt, late lightning. But tonight it's the Dodgers under Freddie. I mean, it's a high fly ball at him saying, hey, what, so what are the numbers today? Well, to lead off spot, the designated hitter. Off to pitch to Melendez. And he walked him. Oh, Deep left field. Taylor is back. All the way back. And gone. And he got him. There's a pop-up. Oh, ground ball to the middle. Trey's got it. And that's the ball game. The Dodgers have won 11 in a row. When you first, just how would you describe your performance today on the mound? Uh, it was pretty solid. Uh, I felt like I was throwing a lot of strikes early with everything, which was nice to see. Um, they were swinging a lot, so I kept the pitch count down. You know, I thought I was throwing some good pitches early that got some soft, soft contact, and uh, some guys made some good plays. Dave said that when you got to the sixth there, it kind of looked like you would maybe kind of hit a wall. Did you feel that? Um, <clears throat> not really. Uh, I walked that guy and mechanically got a little off going into the stretch. I hadn't really thrown on the stretch much, um, you know, except for like in between innings. But um, overall, just like a little bit, a little bit funky there. Kind of took a second to get back into it, and then yeah. Were you aware you were perfect at that point? A couple outings ago, you had talked to us just about, obviously, there are some highs and lows in baseball, um, and then you felt like you were kind of just like in a little bit of a rut there. When you look at your last outing and then this one, do you feel like you're back where you want to be? Yeah, I put together two two good outings in a row now, so ideally keep it going and uh, one you know one outing at a time. Today was pretty good. Um, go get it next time. How mindful are you that this is the most innings you've ever pitched in a season, in a big league season, and the workload is really adding up. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. The body feels pretty good. Do you think you have to show them anything that you can handle it? Uh, not necessarily. I just try to go out there and compete when when it's my time to go. You got up with the bases loaded there in the fifth, and when you popped up to the first base and reached over and caught that ball, and you kind of flipped the bat, looked like you were a little frustrated. Not that often do two innings later you get up in this exact same situation and have a chance to come through. How'd that feel? Yeah, it felt good. Um, <clears throat> you know, it was, first one was a little frustrating because it felt like I had a pretty good at bat and laid off some pitches and then, um, you know, just kept fouling pitches off, fouling pitches off, but couldn't square one up and, you know, move the ball forward. So um, felt like I had a good at bat, didn't want to do anything, you know, extra. And then, uh, you know, it was nice to come through with, you know, that hit a couple innings later and, and get the job done. And just get Tony some. Well, like I said, I had a, th thought I had a good at bat. Um, different pitcher on the mound, so you know maybe my approach first the pitcher was a little bit different. But um, <clears throat> you know, move the ball forward and not try to do too much, or um, you know, try to hit a homer or whatever it may be. Just you know, keep it simple and um, keep the line moving. Get, get. Like this lineup has sort of just been able to generate multiple opportunities like that over the course of the game. That's sort of what allows you guys to sort of get. Yeah, I mean, we've always been good at that because we don't really chase and we walk pretty, you know, pretty decent amount. So um, we create those opportunities when they're given to us um, by just being disciplined. And then obviously we got some, you know, good hitters as well. So there's always traffic out there, and <clears throat> you know that's why you know that first situation it stinks, but you just got to keep your head up because you know that you're probably going to come up there again, you know, shortly after, whether it's you know the next inning or two or the next day. There's probably going to be traffic out there, so uh, keep the right mindset and keep keep moving forward and keep grinding and. and uh, like I said, keep the line moving forward because we got a lot of good players. <clears throat> See out of Tony from your vantage point at shortstop. Um, man, he got ahead of everybody. I felt like he was getting strike one with everybody with you know multiple pitches, whether it's the heater, the curveball, or the splitter. Um, just felt like he was ahead a lot, and and you know he doesn't strike out a ton, ton of people, but he just gets that weak contact. So um, you know he kept the pitch count down early on, and then when he needs to, he can you know get a strikeout and. You, know, you saw that today with you know some good pitches, but just getting ahead of guys, getting you know that strike one, I think is really important with him, and he's got four good pitches, so it makes it tough on those guys. Dave, first, Tony Gonsolin, how impressive was he tonight? Tony was good. Um, you know, I think it, it helped that this was a very aggressive uh, offensive ball club. Um, they were aggressive in the zone. He was trying to get ahead, got some quick outs, um, had his pitch count low. Um, so good. Um, I, I thought that. I think in that sixth inning. 
seventh inning, something like that. I thought he hit a wall. I, I thought the slider started to get up there a little bit. He couldn't get the uh, the split. To, didn't have the depth that it had. Lost some velocity on the fastball. So try to sneak him through the seventh inning. Um, felt it was just time to. Uh, felt he'd had enough, and it was good that David uh, finished that inning off. What did you see from Trace offensively? Man, um, Trace has been so consistent. Um, I, I thought he made a nice adjustment from the first at bat where he popped up, had a good at bat for the double. Um, I think there was a base hit in there and then the home run. So he's just, he's consistent with his at bat quality. And so to give guys a blow, to get him in there, um, and basically to carry us tonight what was, uh, was a good thing. Trace kind of always talked about how he feels like he's always had the thump but he hasn't necessarily made enough contact to make it valuable. I mean, what have you seen out of him in the last month or so that's really allowed that to be different? I, I think that's true. And um, he's trying to rewrite the scouting report on himself. And uh, to his credit, in his work, in batting practice, there's a real uh, conviction and a real uh, intent to uh, barrel the baseball up, make solid contact. And that translates into the game. And so, yeah, he's always had big power. Um, but the swing and miss was there. So he's really done a lot of things to clean that up. What is the sort of like the first half version of Tony tonight? It was, it was, it was. I, I think that the first four innings, the, the secondary stuff had a lot of teeth to it. And um, the fastball velocity was good. Got a lot of quick outs, like I said earlier. Um, so more, more of what we saw earlier, certainly.